Hello, hello, Tatum here. It's day three of our Shape Up September challenge. Today's workout will push strength, endurance, cardio, and core. Grab your dumbbells, water, and a towel. We'll work core first with superhero and boat pose. Then we'll crush a few strength supersets. Each superset will consist of 20, 40, 60, 40, 20 second intervals. I have thrown in a few Tabatas as well. Ready to test your limits? Let's get to it. Hello, hello. Welcome back. It's day three of my Shape Up September. I'm so happy to uh, have you here. For today's weights, um, I have a light set of eight pounds. I'm gonna say maybe five or eight. Some of you maybe 10, but take it light. Then 15s and 20s. So a medium, somewhere maybe between 10 to 25 or 10 to 20 pounds would be good to have around. Um, we'll explain that as we go. But let's go ahead and warm up just a bit. And I'm gonna start with circles here. Big, large circles, just warming up the chest and upper body. We'll do a little core activation before we go into core here at the beginning of this workout. And I have not ran or cycled or done anything today. So this is like, I am ready to go. And it's 45 minutes long, which I like. We're gonna do um, once a week, I'm gonna try to hit that 45 to 60 for you, uh, Mark, but most of them will be short for your weekly workouts. So you can fit them in. Good, let's go diagonal, open up one, two, three, four, five, other side, one, two, three, four, and five. Nice work. Windmills here, touch down, get a good twist side to side. A few of these, we'll go down, we'll do some more rotations through the obliques. We'll do a little activation, we'll get back up and move again, hopefully, oh, in three minutes and 30 seconds. <laughs> All right, give me three more. Three, two, and one, nice work. Let's come down to the ground. Knees side to side. I do wanna say one thing about the intervals today, just so we're on the same page. 20 seconds of each, we have supersets. They're all supersets. 20 seconds of each, 40 seconds, 60, 40, 20. We're staying with that. We're gonna move back and forth fairly quickly on those. And I've thrown in some Tabatas in between that are a little higher intensity, but we are gonna move through. We are not resting. Good. If you need rest, you take your rest though. <sighs> Great job. Knees up. First, well, let's put feet down. Tuck your pelvis a little bit. Pull that back flat and firm against the floor. Knees up, arms up. Let's just hold, drawing the navel towards the floor. Nice and tight, just activating, getting that drawing in here. <sighs> Find your breath with it. So even though I'm breathing, I'm trying not to really like let my belly push out. Now let's put those hands against the knees, press, knees to hands, feel the brace, and still draw the belly button in. Now feel all of that nice and tight. Rib cage feels a little expanded. I'm breathing, everything is tight. Great job. Let's pop it up here. We have two minutes. Let's go into uh, low butt kicks here, pull back, just warming up. Keep it kind of low. We're gonna get high and it's 45 minutes. We should feel this by the end. <laughs> I'm gonna keep you moving today. Let's hope it goes well. We'll have a minute rest in between each of these supersets for a water break. Good, now let's bring it up, okay? A little bit higher here. If you can, otherwise stay with that marching butt kick. That's it, kick. Try to get the heel towards the bottom. Good, let's bring it into a light jog, light jog. That's it. Let that heart rate elevate just a bit. Good work, heel to toes right here. Give me 10, this is five. So five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go right into jumping jacks. You can tap low if you still need to stay low or bring it high with me. Here we go. We're gonna try to move. We gotta get ready for this workout today. <laughs> oh, at least I do. We'll wake up a little bit, even though I'm excited. Good. Just give me five more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. Let's go ahead. Hands behind the head, we'll do a little good morning, just pushing that hip back. Hips back into tabletop here, flat back, come up to stand. One, let's do about, 
don't know, we'll try five to 10, depending on my clock here that's counting down very quickly. Three, four, five, six, last one, and seven. All right, we're gonna come down to the floor. We're gonna go into a superhero, okay? So lay down on your stomach. I want your superhero uh, feet and arms off the floor. We're gonna roll towards a boat pose or a banana <laughs> pose, which I like banana, all right? And then we're gonna find ourselves right back into that superhero. Now I want you to try to roll hoo the other direction and hold, and then back to your banana there. Nice work. 20 seconds is all it is. Here we go, we're going into a rolling half kneeling position, all right? And then we're rolling back, half kneel, other direction. If it's too hard to get up, you're gonna just practice your rolling crunch, which we've done here already, I think within the last couple days. There you go. I told you we're gonna keep on moving. We're into our little superhero. Rotate onto the uh, banana pose here. Back to your superhero. And then opposite direction into the banana. There you go, back and forth. Just keep rolling. Draw the stomach in, we're nice and tight. In order to perform this, stop and pause. Get that position, that boat or that banana to that superhero. And whoa, back. One direction works better for me than the other. You'll find the same. Tighten up, squeeze your glutes as well. Three, two, and one. All right, here we go. Rolling to half knee. Let's see, I want to go all the way up. We're not going all the way up today. Just a half kneeling position. And I'm gonna switch which leg crosses and which knee is up each time, okay? Just back and forth here. Remember, this is 40 seconds of work. We're going 20, 20, 40, 40, 60, 60. Stay with me, I know. You can modify your intervals if you need to, if you're just getting started. You can modify any of these exercises. So right now, maybe it's just a little rolling crunch again, okay? You do you. Three, two, and one. Here we go. One minute. Now on this part, if this is a little hard, you could just work your superheroes. You could just work holding your banana, okay? <laughs> your boat, whatever you wanna call it. Here we go, that didn't sound all right. All right, good, here we go. Boat pose, superhero. Boat pose, make sure you go both directions. That's it, keep mo moving. You got it, squeeze. Woo. And back. Oh, it's not easy. Hold it, this is a long minute. Oh, you got it. And back. And over, 14 seconds, you're doing well. You don't have to rush this, you can hold it. And you can break it down and do one of these at a time. Three, two, and one. Here we go, a full minute of a rolling crunch up here. So a half kneeling position. You can add a punch if you want. <laughs> I always want to, I feel like I'm a stunt devil. Now I get a movie coming up to defend myself. No, here we go. Even when we're rolling back, you're always thinking about bracing. All right, drawing in nice and tight through our rib cage here. That's it, we got 30 seconds. We're halfway, we're gonna be coming back down to our 40s and to our 20s. We are moving a lot today, very little rest. <sighs> Something I like to do. Our Tabatas will have some rest though. Our strict Tabatas, 2010. <sighs> you got it, 10 seconds here. Get ready for your superhero to banana. Three, two, and one. Here we go. Right into it. Find your superhero. Roll into that banana or boat pose and back. Make sure you practice all the other direction. You got it. Draw that stomach in. I know we go to our, our to the floor. We might just let it go and relax. 
Don't relax, still pull it in, still squeeze those glutes. Three, two, and one. Here we go, 40 seconds. Rolling crunch, we're in it, we're moving. We're gonna feel this one today. We're gonna do our best. That's why I brought out a couple sizes of weights. I wanted to stick with one. I had 15 and 20s, but I just wasn't sure what I would be able to do today. So if you have a couple sets there, bring them out. Good. Tell me that you're sorry. I'm 10 sorry. seconds. I love this one, really moving. I know this is kind of exaggerated rolling, but I think about getting up from laying down. All right, exercise one. I'm gonna go this direction this time. Here we go. Superhero to boat to superhero oh, to boat. <laughs> one side. Up, good. Stick it. Three, two, and one. All right, here we go. This is quick. Let's go. Up and down. Remember, maybe we just rock it here. We work on our little rocking crunch. You got it, three, two, and one. All right, we have a minute's rest. Thank goodness. That way we can talk a little bit here and take a water break. All right, next part, this is our Tabata. And then we'll go back to that 20, 20, 40, 40, 60, 60 um, pyramid thing um, after this. Then we'll go back to a Tabata and we'll work back and forth. So this is 20 seconds on, 10 seconds of rest in between. We have two exercises I wanna talk about. First one's just gonna be a quick walk out. So out, in, out, in. Just a couple steps out to in, all right, quick. And then our other one is going to be a curl with a split lunge here. So you're gonna split it, come together, split, curl, all right, if you want, you can do less of a lunge and more of a, just this little split here, okay? Like a jumping jack split there. All right, three, two, and one. Let's walk it out nice and quick because it's only 20 seconds and we do get 10 seconds rest. So just finding that plank and walking it out. Good. That's it. Try to come to a nice high plank, hips level to the floor, not sagging. Three, two, one, rest. All right, we'll have four sets of these to make our Tabata of eight uh, rounds, okay? Here we go, we're gonna split and curl. You can come all the way down with me together, or you can stay high here, and, and just make sure you come to the center here, reset, swing, reset, swing, reset. And I'm gonna go down. Three, two, and one. Great job. Walkouts again. We got this. Round two coming up. Three, two, one. Here we go. Out, in, out, in. All the navel in, brace, squeeze those glutes and those thighs when you're in this high plank, okay? We wanna be really stiff as a board throughout the body. Here we go, three, two, and one. Split and curl. So in the center is when we reset the weight. When we get our split, we're curling. That's it, it's a quick little swing, not much. Weight should be light. Three, two, one. Woo! All right, two down. Two to go. Two claps, give it to you. Come on, we got this. Weather's good, I'm feeling good. Here we go. I feel tired, <laughs> I feel good. <sighs> That's it. Now you could even go out a little further if you want and extend out there and touch. It's a little bit tougher. You may not want to come all the way in so you have time to go out there far and rest. Good work. Here we go. Remember, if getting that knee down is too much, or jumping, maybe just step back 
or touch back here and do a curl too, okay? You can modify all of this, all right? That's it. Three, two, one. Nice work. One more. If I've kept count. <laughs> Here we go. Now, to move quickly through this, we also have to be tight. The tighter we are and the stiffer we are, the better we can move, the quicker we can move. The more speed we'll have. And I'm just gonna go in a little bit because I want to take mine out to a really far reach there. Three, two, and one, rest. Good job. Woo! Here we go. Split lunge or just a little split jumping jack. Split jack, okay? Last one here. We're gonna earn our rest again. Because we're working with a little rest, I've given us a lot of minute rest between each of these. Three, two, one. Woo! All right, you put those weights aside. I don't need to know that we'll use those weights again unless you need them, okay? Sip of water. Next one. This is our 20s, 40s, 60s, 40s, and 20s again. Now, the idea here, because I did not put any rest in, is to hold on to that weight, okay? Um, and I might have put a little bit of extra time in just to get to the floor and back up again. So we're gonna go from a chest press to an RDL row to stand. So, and I got 15s and 20s, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to keep up with these 20s on my back, maybe my chest, but we're gonna row, really stand for 20 seconds. Row, push back, flat back, okay? Row, really stand. We're gonna go to the floor right away. We're gonna do a chest press. We're gonna keep the weight in our hands. We're gonna keep moving. We're not changing the weight out. Three, two, and one. Row, release, stand. Good. Row, release, stand. Make sure you have that neutral spine. You can bend those knees a little bit, but push the hips back. Get into tabletop. I've got my palms in right now, and we're just rowing and releasing. Good. Three, two, and one. We're down. I'm going right into it. I'm going to go palms in for this one because I, my weight is not as heavy as I would like it to be for my chest press. So I'm going to go ahead and make it a little tougher with the palms in, elbows in. Calling on my triceps a little bit more too, which are nice to work because we're not isolating triceps or biceps today. There you go. Three, two, and one. We're up. Stay with that weight, okay? Here we go. Whoops, I did palms in. Just stand, good. Down, row, release, stand. That's it, just a little row, release to stand. Neutral spine, bend those legs. Make sure that lower arch that is typical for you kind of stays there in place. And we're not tucking our tailbone here. Okay, which looks like this, okay? A little bit of like that. There you go. Woo, 12 seconds. Remember, these intervals are getting longer. Eight. Five. So we'll go fast today. Three, two, and one. For a 45 minute class, it's gonna go quick because we're just gonna keep moving. Here we go, palms in, elbows in. Now, just because we're gonna go up to a minute doesn't mean that you need to today. If you're a little tired and you need a little more rest, take these 30 seconds. You could do the 20, 30, 30. You could do a 20, 40, 40. You could do a 20, 30, 40. All right, you can make it your own. Start at the 20. Maybe it's 20, 30, 40 today. That's kind of a good start. Figure it out, modify your interval. Good, palms in, elbows in for me. If you have some heavier weight you're using and or your chest is, maybe your back is stronger than your chest, it's not the way it is for me. Uh, well, yeah, I guess, I guess it kind of is. All right, here we go, come on up. One minute, same thing, here we go. Don't rush, row, release, one, two counts. One, two, kind of stick it at the top there, get a little squeeze, okay? A little squeeze and then stand. Good. This is a full minute. We'll get plenty in. And up. You got it. 
chiara. Row, rowies, stand. Just say it to yourself. Row, rowies, stand, okay? Tabletop. Or you could say reset. 10 more seconds. Woo! We got it. Five. Three, two, and one. Nice work. We're down. Minute of chest press here. Palms in. Felt like a long minute, didn't it? Felt like time stood still for me on that one. <laughs> Did I blank out? Was I quiet? Did I zone out somewhere? I tend to do that. Woo, that's it. Palms in, elbows in. If you're gonna have your palms in, you want those elbows to be under your wrist, not flared out, okay? We wanna make sure that we're pushing this weight right up over those shoulders and back down. Good, so I'm starting my hands kind of at my rib cage, but when I push up, I kind of push up and over my shoulders and then back down. There's this tiny, tiny little arc as we come up to press, same with the barbell. It's not actually straight out. Unless you're working on a Smith machine, like a slider bar machine, then you have no control over that. <laughs> there we go. Three, two, and one. Great job, everyone. We're up. We're up, we're up. Here we go. Row, release, stand. Tabletop, row, release, stand. Let's squeeze it a little longer of this. Row, release, stand. Good. Row, two, release. You can count like that one, two. Good, that's it. You do you. Move at your pace, don't let me rush you here. I want you to get good form. Okay, work on good form, so don't use too heavy a weight if you're having trouble with that tabletop position. Good. Five seconds here. Three, two, and one. Good job. Here we go. You're doing awesome. Stay with me here. You want to exhale as you push, okay? I don't talk about breathing that much, but we probably should. You want to push, blow the air all the way out, and then bring it back in. And when you blow that air out, realize how your rib cage kind of expands, how it tightens up, and you want to keep that the whole time if you can through this breath. That's time. We're up. 20 seconds is all we've got here. Here we go. Row, release to stand. Okay, say it to yourself here. Row, release, stand. Three, two, one. Good job. Last one. Back down quickly. 20 seconds and we're on. Up and down. Maybe we try not to pause at the top on this one even though we're tired. Try not to rest at the top. Get fully extended with the elbows, come back down. Fully extend, right back down with control. Try to push yourself here. Three, two, and one. Ooh. All right, good work. Weights down. Next one is a no weight Tabata. We're gonna move skaters here. Love my skaters. I love them for a couple reasons. They're good on that heart but we move laterally. And I love getting you to move laterally because we never do, okay? We're always moving forward. So, always good to move into those hips side to side, get in there, get some strength there. Good for good hip stability and knee stability that we want on down through ankles. So, we're gonna move there. So, if you're a little wobbly right now, maybe you just take a small step side to side, find your balance here. If we're there, we could take it wider, quicker. We need to take it down as well. All right, but we're just going 20 seconds. I'm gonna stay high on this one. Keep the turnover high. And then we're gonna go into a high plank, side to side jump here, okay? All right, and we can tap that out as well. Here we go, skaters first though, quick. I'm gonna try, you could put a cone down or something that you're 
clearing. I have a square here, mat. So I'm trying to land over one square into each side square here each time. Three, two, one. Great job, rest. All right, we're in that high plank. Here we go. You can go side to side jump, and I'm still gonna try to jump a full square here. Or you can tap side to side here and rotate. Three, two, and one. Here we go. If it bothers your wrist, come up on your knuckles, make them a little bit more sturdy, locked out. There we go. Trying to get my tempo up. Three, two, one. Woo! Good work, skaters are up. We have four sets of these. This is set number two. Three, two, and one. Remember, you can take it a little further for a little more intensity. You can take it a little shorter, okay? You do you, but move quick. We're moving quick on this one. Three, two, one. Great job. Down in that plank, okay? Side to side tap or a hop or jump, sorry. But you can tap in and out, side to side. Three, two, and one. Here we go. Oh, I lost my, I like my little square here. I like jumping square to square. There we go. You can put something down in the middle there, a towel or something, just to make sure that you're getting some range here. Three, two, one. Woo, good work. My legs are feeling something yesterday, the run. Day two, I don't know. Or day two, this is a couple days ago. All right, here we go, skaters, 20 seconds. Third round, we got this, let's move. Have some fun with it. Turn it up. That's it. Three, two, one, great job. We're down. High plank. If this gets to be too much, just hold your high plank. Maybe just take a small tap out to the right, left center. So many ways you can mix this up. Again, I want my square. Here we go. We're moving. Draw the stomach in. We have to brace. We have to brace through this jumping, all right, and this landing to protect our spine, our back. All right, so make sure you're thinking about that, not just the jump. So take it small or take it a tap. Work on that first. Skaters. All right, here we go. This should be our last one, right? Last one. We're skating. That's it. I'm in the Olympics. I got this. <laughs> That's it. Winter Olympics. Here we come. Three, two, one. Rest. All right, we're back down. Last one here, hurrah. Three, two, and one. That's it. Side to side, boom, boom. Doing well. Keep it up. Remember to brace through the core, draw in. We're tight, we're stiff. We got a little bounce in our knees here as we land, but we're stiff through the core and trunk. Woo! There you go. One minute rest. Awesome job. Oh, grab a sip of water. It's a little lazy on my board this time around, sorry. Put a lot of effort in my previous ones. Just got lazy today. <laughs> or this time there, sorry about that. All right, so going forward, squat with two dumbbells. So right here by our side. Two dumbbells. If that's too easy, maybe you want to go more of a front squat, make it a little tougher on yourself, okay? And I'll show you how to do those. Great, keep those in our hands. So make sure it's a weight you can press. So we're gonna press here, all right? Press, you might have to do a push press if that weight's a little heavy, but as long as you can do some sort of press, we're at a good weight, okay? We'll figure it out with the squats. Our legs are hitting anyways. I'm gonna try my 20s. Something tells me I might end up going to um, <laughs> to my 15s. <laughs> but I'd like for you to stay with the same weight, not change it out. Remember, this is 20, 20, 40, 40, 60, 60. I want you to keep the same weight. So find that weight that works. Keep and stay with it and just keep moving. Good. 
Three, two, one. Here we go. Some sort of push press here. So it's a little dip. It's not a thruster all the way down and up. It's a dip to press. It might be, if you have lighter weight there, you don't own heavier weights and you're not being challenged, it might be a strict press up overhead without the dip. Three, two, and one. Here we go, back into squats. That's it. Bottom down. I'm not pushing over into tabletop this time. Chest is up, forehead up, eyes up, and we're just squatting. My knees seem like they want to go every which way, so make sure you keep them over the second and third toe. Think about it, slow down. Make sure they're not wobbling all over the place. That's it. We got it. Good work. Keep it up. Chest up. I should be able to see your eyes right now. Three, two, and one. Here we go. 40 seconds. No joke. This is getting harder. It's okay. This is where I'm not sure I'm going to be able to keep going with these weights, but I'm going to try today. We'll see. We'll push. Whew. You can always switch it out. I always tell everyone, just try. You might think you can't do it, and then you give it a try, and you did it. Or maybe you did it for half the time, which is better than no time, even though today I want you to stay with a weight you can do the full time. So test yourself. If you have to drop on one, that's fine, but stick with that other weight, that lighter weight the rest of the way. Three, two, one. Woo, here we go. One minute squat. Get the sweat going. Feels good. We are just moving today. Moving through. This is a great quick blast for high calorie burn. Keep us moving. Keep the heart rate slightly elevated. Some of us just getting started don't need that high of a heart rate right now. So, yeah, take this 20, 30, 40 and build in that rest, okay? 20, 30, 40, build in some rest for yourself. Let yourself reset. Get back to it. We want good form. We want you to be able to do this. Something I love about training, something I love to do in my classes. I don't have a high class, a, you know, an advanced class, an intermediate, a beginners. Nope. Everybody gets pulled together. Everybody gets inspired by each other. Okay. And we just modify. Three, two, and one. Because even my best will need a modification day to day. Maybe something has injured. Maybe they're just tired. Okay, we come in, we work what we have, we modify for our day, for our bodies, for our own journey, for our own needs. It's all good. Is it Monday? Is it Monday motivation? <laughs> Here we go. Keep it coming, come on. Whew. Let's check it out, we're at 25 seconds. Oh boy. Boom. Oh, it's getting harder. We can do this. 15 seconds, come on. Woo. 10, keep it coming. You got it. Five, come on. Three, two, one. Oh boy, but I can't believe. So I'm looking at this board. 45 minutes is gonna go fast. We only have one more Tabata. I will find with this Tabata, I'm sorry. Um, one more Tabata, and then we're done. Crazy how quick these workouts can go. So we just mix it up a little bit, keep it fun. That's it, squat. Chest up, if those knees are wobbly, think about just kind of being on the outside of your foot a little bit, pushing those knees over the second, third toe, not letting them cave in. All right, here we go, 40 seconds. Oh, let's do it. I might have to get a little jump in there onto my toes a little bit. Just make sure that you're not leaning this way and like thrusting forward and putting the weight back here in that lower back to get there, okay? Watch me, I hope I'm not either. Squeeze that bottom, kind of tuck a little bit. Let's make sure. You don't have to tuck completely, but just a little bit to make sure we're not leaning back too far. Three, 
two, one. 20 seconds of squats, here we go. Watch your knees, make sure you feel the floor over the entire foot. Toes to heel. Try not to pause on this one at the top. You only have 20 seconds, so extend those knees, get back into that squat. Three, two, one, here we go. Oh boy, come on, we gotta work. Good, 10 seconds. Five, we got it, we're there. Three, two, one, woo! One minute break. Grab some water, let that heart rate come down, shake it out. Oh boy. <laughs> Up next. Let me just say I love you. I love you before you swear at me here. Um, burpees with a punch. At least we have a punch in there. That first 20 seconds. Oh, I'm sorry, this is all 20 seconds. So, I mean, really, we're not gonna be up for very long. So we're not gonna do a push up with this. I just want you to come down. Let me show you from the front. Here, jump back, up, one, two, three, four. Down, up, one, two, three, four. So jab, cross. That's all we're gonna do, up and down. Get the arms in there, which are feeling like noodles. Then we're gonna go high knees, or a high march for 20 seconds. 10 seconds rest, four sets here. Makes our eight exercises, yay! All right, seven seconds, everybody. Ready or not. You could do evens or odds if you need more rest. Or sorry, no, you could do um, a full set and then change it, okay? Or rest on that next one. Now let me go forward here. Up, jab, cross, jab, cross, down, up. Notice how I'm bringing my feet in this little stance here so that I could punch or jab and cross, all right? So I got a little bit of a split stance on those, it helps. But you can just jump up here and punch out the front too if you want. Maybe I should do that, I might move a little better. Here we go, high knees, lift, lift. That's what I say to myself. All right, 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 left, right, left. Get it going, come on. Pump those arms, I see that on my bike a lot. Lift, you got it. Three, two, one. 10 seconds rest. Back to those burpees. Remember, you can jump it up here if you want. Just do punches. You can do jab cross with a little change out there. Here we go. I'm gonna go here, maybe low with a squat. Maybe switch it up. <laughs> I do that kind of stuff. One, two, three. I like the low squat, maybe. Let's go there. Find out what works for you and do it. What offers a challenge? Offers a great challenge being low like that. Good work. It's a little quicker. You can get a few more in. All right, here we go. High knees. It's the beauty of uh, being the coach here. I can change it when I want. But so can you. That's why I say you do you. Maybe you don't want to do burpees today. Maybe you just want to do jumping jacks or jump rope or I don't know. Pick something. You're moving. That's all I care about. Three, two, and one. Some of us are a little crazier. Some of us have been doing this a while. We want this sort of thing, so let's just want to move. Just move, just move. Three, two, and one. Here we go. Let's do it. One, two, woo. Good. One, two, three, four. Eight seconds. You got it. Find your burpee. You can come all the way up. All right, you might step it out, step it in, and punch too. Sorry. Always know that's an option. We're resting. That is always an option. Just step it out and in. You can do it, incline too. Find a chair, here we go. Let's move. Make sure you get those arms pumping. Lift, here we go. That's it, that's it. Five seconds, you got it. Lift a little higher, come on. Three, two, one. Rest. One more round. One more run, you've got a 45 minute workout like that. Hope you liked it. Give us a thumbs up, like, subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend, here we go. Good. Always forget to tell you that in the beginning, but we're here. Here we go. Four punches. One, two, three, four. Good, one, two, three, four. 
Three, two, and one. Good work. Oh, wait, <laughs> almost forgot high knees. I wanted to, I won't let you. Let's not cheat ourselves, here we go. High knees, then we'll rest, then we'll rest, we'll stretch. All right, lift, lift, pump it, pump it. You got it. Nice work. Come on. Four, three, two, one. All right. A little sip. Whew. You did it. Congratulations. I know a lot of us are enjoying that 35 minute mark, that 30, 35. Hopefully on the weekends or one day that you have a late day during the week or work, you can tune into one of these longer ones just to push yourself a little over the edge. <laughs> just a little. Let's inhale through the nose, out through the mouth. Maybe it's a day that maybe you like the shorter ones, so you can go out and get some other cardio in, walking, some other training. So maybe a 45 is great for a day that you're like, you know, I don't feel like the weather's icky. I don't feel like going out and doing cardio today outside. Or all that time, I just wanna get, I just have time for one good one, one longer one during the day. This would be it, okay? In and out. Ooh, good. Let's go ahead, just swing here, open up, let it go. Spread those feet wide, let's reach. I'm trying to get a good side bend in each stretch here. Keep adding these in, we sometimes just forget. You know, there's certain things we always think about, you know, our hips, hip flexors, glutes, um, what else? Calves, calves, you feel that a lot. That's what you're saying. And because we don't bend a lot, or maybe twist in everyday life, just a little bit, we do though, right? Yeah, I guess we do, we do. I just said this, putting dishes away, but you don't feel it. Maybe you're not stretching as much. You don't feel that tightness until you get into this and you're like, wow. Um, I kind of joked that, you know, you think you shrink, I don't know, when you go to reach something over high, but really you're just tight. You know, there's muscles that are pulling and you can't reach as high or get up on your toes as well. And, and you stop being able to reach as high. So I'm always trying to see how far can I reach? I want to maintain that, okay? Maintain that all the time. All right, let's go ahead. Let's go with, um, um, oh, we're gonna IT band here. We're gonna switch sides too. I want you to come down, reach high, touch down, and then reach high, touch down. Good, so switch each leg, reach, and then touch wherever you can. Good, reach, we're just gonna alternate here. And down, feels good just to move a little bit through this. And you can hold this a couple seconds. Reach, and back down. All right, give me two more like this. Good, up, and then down. Great job, I'm on a little quad stretch here. All right, just grab that ankle, pull that knee in. All right, a lot of times we're out here. Pull it in. If that's tough, my yoga instructor had a great idea about gra grabbing it on the inside of the foot. So you can see that. So in here, I always grab out here and pull in, but my feet turn in, so, or you can pull inside this way to get it to stay close to the body. And hold that. Great job. Other side. Even use both hands if you've got the balance. Otherwise, grab and reach for a wall or something to hold on to here in the stretch. Side's not as good. Come on, let go. <laughs> nice work, let's get those calves. Step back here. Actually, let's go into downward dog. It's been a while, hasn't it? I don't know. I do this at cross country. I, I, I find myself in this position doing my calves a lot. I never know from one place to another where we've been doing the most. Let's get the heels down. Push in, push into the shoulders here too. Flatten out that upper back. There you go, and breathe. Let's bring that left leg up, give it a little twist, a little extension. Maybe you move that leg a little bit, feels good. Back down, other side, same thing, lift. Twist open just a bit, extend, release, back and forth. Flex and extend, there you go. Back down, heels down, let's walk it out. Right, left, right, left. 
That's good. Really push in there. When you come up onto your toes, think about kind of crunching your toes, pushing your toes so they really bend too. Get a good bend in those toes. It's important to keep the that uh, good flexibility or mobility through those toes too, which is kind of crazy, but it's true. Good. All right, let's walk it up. Let's find the small of our back here. Just lean back, give me a little back bend till it feels good so that you can breathe. Oh goodness, I felt good. All right, that is it. That's my timer and I actually stopped stretching right on time. I'll try not to talk too much. So we'll see you on day four. Thank you so much for joining me and tuning in to Shape Up September. September and October, little fact here, five is my favorite number. You may know that by now. And September and October are probably my two favorite months of the entire year. So I am super excited. Hopefully the energy remains and the weather stays nice and we're all like on it, even though we're very, very busy. We uh, just make this time for ourselves now. All right, I'll see you next day. Bye-bye.